Hi guys, I'm Linda. I'm Margie. I'm Keith. And we are Partners, Partners in, in Crime. Crime. Today, we all watched the 2020 episode about Doomsday Mom, Lori Vallow, and we wanted to go over some things, some new things that we learned. I know I knew a lot of the information that was given, but I know Keith and Marjorie probably learned some new things for themselves. So, mm -hmm. Keith, you want to get us started with that? Well, I'm just going to say overall, you know, I thought that, you know, that it was two hours long. But I thought it was well done, and mm -hmm. I thought they covered, you know, this case has so much information, there's so many people involved. Right. But I just thought they covered it really well, and I loved, I especially love the backstories, especially Tammy and mm -hmm. her family and her and the sister. And then, um, you know, those backstories, especially Joe Ryan and, and like, how he grew up. Mm -hmm. I like that they put that backstory in there because, um, and then... You know, you could see the complexities of, of all the other people involved, too, mm -hmm. right? And so, so that, that part I... Why don't you give us the backstories of first Joe and then Tammy? Well, Joe, um, and, and, and one of the famous, um, Annie, her, her his Annie sister... Annie Cushing is his sister. Right, yeah. she's the one that's got, like, just volumes and volumes of uh, YouTube channel. Yeah. Yeah. data on this case she's mm -hmm. all over it but um yeah the, I mean, they came from a uh, somewhat of a broken family right the yes. dad um i guess the mom died and the, and the dad did they all were in um homes. There were five kids yeah five kids right yeah and so um you know I, that that's one thing annie was talking about his background that he was the type of person that you know was just wanted to go out there and prove himself right mm -hmm. and um, I could see psychologically where he was a kind of person that needed to, um, to be validated, you know, to, to believe he had to earn love, you know, which would have, which was a perfect target for the, at least the psychological profile of, of Lori. Lori. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and, and, and when he met, he met and married Lori, Lori, he was a bit older too, right? He was. Yeah. yeah. I think he was 43 and she was in her late 20s. So, okay. Yeah. And it was a, you know, he was getting his own family and it was a thing that was really important to him. Mm hmm And, um, and Lori had already been married, I don't know, This three was times her third husband. Times. She was her third, yeah, okay. Yeah, that was her but third. she's 20-some years old and she's already been married a couple times. Um, Something I learned was that she was pregnant with Tylee. I didn't know that when they did get married. Okay. Yes. Right. All right. They got so married in Hawaii. Like a sh another <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know. He loves Hawaii. Yeah. The girl loves Hawaii, man. Uh -huh. I mean, she's got, you know, I guess, uh, good taste in a way, uh, you know, rich <laughs> tastes. But, yeah. um, you know, and then the, the thing that came out about him is that he, he had, had a kind of explosive anger, right? Yeah. And it ended up estranging him and Annie. Yes. Yeah. And because Annie had kind of been involved with her life and stuff, and there was some incident with the roof leaking, and they, just, yeah, they had Joe some big mansion. They had yeah. a big, big house. In Texas. Right. Yeah. And um, he kind of freaked out, and it, it kind of ended their relationship. They were estranged until he died. Mm-hmm. Um, so that, that part, that piece was good. And, and, and actually, Lori took... Annie in even after right. she was divorced from Joe with Charles they took her on a family vacation and that sort of thing so she kept Annie in the and, loop with right her they, life. they communicated somewhat yeah. I don't know it wasn't yeah. really clear that they you know were talking every week but no. they did communicate but I think yeah. she just kept the relationship going with right. Tylee right. and her aunt so right. yeah so I mean at that part of the backstory was great and um and then seeing his hotel and seeing his house where he lived. Yeah. And then he, what I found odd, and they didn't really mention it, it's like he had, he had all this exercise equipment, a yoga ball and foam rollers and a bike, and then he died of some kind of heart thing, right? Well, and it was supposedly. Like, supposedly, right. Yeah. I was like, wow, you just see, that part I didn't see played in there where, was he like an exercise, um, 
not or no it, it, they showed the picture of him he had really gone downhill right they showed and his was driver's license you couldn't tell what he looked the rest yeah of the but still if you're you know keeping yourself healthy and working out and everything else you're gonna look healthier yeah. Yeah. he did not look healthy it so. just i didn't yeah and i seen it looked like a bachelor pad mm -hmm. right yeah um you know not much art on the wall but and you know just but it, it looked like a guy that was living to me an active lifestyle which none of that actually got explained so i don't yeah. know i guess you know they say they're having a podcast with more information right okay um, i don't they were know advertising we'll on 2020. To, okay yeah. okay um, um and the thing Tuesday about it, mommy or whatever yeah. the podcast thing they're doing what annie found was that Joe was such a perfectionist. So to see the way things were... Look, uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. There was that piece where it seemed like, um, you know, um, Lori was, was, was there. That's what she said. She thinks Lori actually she, took some things out of there. Bef or... Before the cops got right, there. Or she was there and, you know, did something to him. I don't know. Yeah, because they, well, she explained that... After he died, she went there and the police just let her in and just grabbed stuff, which yeah, is totally which, bizarre and not yeah, doesn't sound yeah, real. Yeah, and then Annie also said that Lori um, d knew about it, and Annie's like, "Why didn't you tell me about it?" She said, "Because I didn't think you'd care." Yeah, like it's your that was horrible. Brother. Yeah, and that's just the way her she thinks. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. so. Well, it's a projection, yeah, too, because if you don't care, you're going to say the other person doesn't care. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, <laughs> it is a projection. Um, and then what about um, Tammy's And then the other story? thing about they brought up is that, you know, to get met. And I think, oh, he was her hairdresser. Lori no, Cox no, was yeah. a hairdresser. Lori Joe's, Joe's hairdresser. hairdresser, yeah. But in order for them to marry... And I can just imagine they're, you know, they're dating, they're getting romantic, all things mm -hmm. you're getting, and then, well, you got, you got to become a Mormon, right? You know, but she was pregnant too, so that's oh, another right. that's thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's like a. And you shouldn't have been pregnant either. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and she also. Should have been divorced two well, more times. <laughs> yeah. But you know, I mean, it's just a contradiction. That, I can say that about around. my own life. I could, I should have done. Yeah, but you're not saying done. that you're a perfect. I just didn't kill anybody. Person, right? <laughs> I mean, kill anybody. You over her any day. Okay, thank you. Because you never know what's going to come out of that woman. Well, I, I like too that they had her. You know, especially when she was in there, and then she was in a beauty contest mm -hmm. while at this time while they were married yeah. and all. Yeah. And they were interviewing her, and she was just like, "And I'm just like a ticking time bomb." Yeah. That, that was. Uh, that was, that was <laughs> you're saying how important it was for her to be a wife and a mom. Yeah. But you're looking at her history. But of just like getting rid of her husbands after she was done with them and doing whatever. But the thing I want to say is, you're not. You're like everybody else. Like, you did not do anything more than the no. regular mother would do. So, and Tammy had five kids, Lori. So, I think you should just zip it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look around. Look at how people are yeah, like doing stuff. That other yeah. thing, I guess, that was the exclusive was uh, Tammy's sister. Yes. And, he, you know, and Tammy and Chad are married for 30 years. Yeah. And so, you know, it was... Um, you know, Tammy's sister, and I don't remember Samantha. her name. Samantha. And, and her husband, and her husband. Jason. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, they had known these people for all, you know, especially um, Chad. Yeah, For all were. these years. Yeah. I was just, and it was interesting to see, um, she's, by all accounts, you know, it didn't really show any, um, other than the fact that um, she was really smart and could have done anything you know done some yeah. become a you know who knows doc, doctor lawyer whatever yeah. and just chose to live the life of a you know a homemaker uh, a, a mother. mother and a homemaker yeah and, and she actually with the um w with the uh oh gosh their their books the publishing company she right. actually was the one working and everything else to keep the family together because chad was focusing on the books and you know they had to file bankruptcy and that sort of thing too so 
it was all on her shoulders. Well, yeah, she started part. the publishing company that published his books. Mm -hmm. And yeah. she was doing the, you know, the, uh, the counting and uh, the, the heavy lifting, I guess you'd say. Yeah, the, yeah. The, so the, he could focus the on the inglory, The not glorious part of stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but she was also an avid reader, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, but, uh, yeah, it was just interesting seeing that and seeing, um, you know, that the, the um, cause she just, you know, there's not much, um, you know, where the focus is all on Lori, you know, in this story, you know, Tammy, and that was the one thing that the sister Samantha kept saying, she don't want her just kind of just being forgot. She just mm -hmm. got offed. You know, because right. she was in the way or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really it's horrible. sad. And they were, like, so, like, bold to, like, how they would just go and meet up and mm -hmm. walk a track. Lori and Lori Chad. And Chad. Yeah. Just right. Walk a track is, like, no, it's like nothing. It's just That's a couple. Cool. And when he's still married. They're still married. And, yeah, it was. Other things, too, they brought up in there is that, you know, these divorces of Lori's. Were, were, were kind of bitter and fought over, you mm -hmm. know, custody and, you know, and everybody's, you know, everybody gets accused of being a um, child molester, right? And there, it's just like, she's got her play, she's got her playbook yeah. that yeah. pretty much, and the life insurance, yeah. you know, everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, she got 150000 oh. from Joe Ryan. She thought she was going to get a million from Charles. She actually went back with Charles to try to get him to change the life insurance and, you know, try to... Well, I thought she was surprised at... Oh, sorry. We're boring him. <laughs> no, you're not boring me. He's boring just, himself. <laughs> yeah, I was riding my bike up in the mountains over here. We were up in Boyertown riding bikes. Okay. It was just mountainous. Anyway, um, what was I going to say? Well, with Charles, I thought that... Um, she didn't even realize that he took her off the, it was a million dollar policy. Right. He took her off and she didn't know about it. Right. She, well. She was surprised by it. She, because she knew she was, and then she went to make sure, or she wanted to make sure that she was. That's why she went back to Charles. Right. And, um, but then in the end, he just took her off. So yeah, and he's the guy. Smart. <laughs> yeah. And he's the one that got killed, uh, right. shot by her brother. Mm hmm yeah. well I know with um, Tammy's sister too when she talked to Chad like they were so shocked when he said he got married after Tammy died a month before oh. and then she said that um, he he was talking about Lori and he said yeah uh, we just connected because we both have we've both been widowed and he said that her husband died of a heart attack, which we know he did not. Charles right. was shot, so there's lie one. And then she said, well, does she have kids? And he's like, oh, no, they're adults. We're empty nesters. Lie two right there. Right. So after the kids were found and Samantha uh, found out about all this, she started doing research on Lori yeah. and was like, really? Like, she knew that Chad was just lying left and right about the situation. Right. Yeah, so many so, similar things in, the, yeah. in her past. And then she right. found out of her other marriages. And mm -hmm. Well, and I can imagine, you know, the fact that they would arrange the death of their kids or do it themselves. That's mm -hmm. one thing that's a super pathological. But, you know, as they're human beings and they're having this, like, you know, love affair... And then they're also, on top of that, they believe they're, you know, supernatural beings or, or mm -hmm. some kind of on a mission for God. You know, they must have believed that they're untouchable. Right. In a way. And they're yeah. just riding this high, mm -hmm. going to Miami. I mean, yeah. I, I can just put myself there in a way and just, because I've had highs like that. I, I mean, they must have. You know, um, I'm sure they had some damn crazy ass high mm -hmm. from this whole thing. Yeah. Now, if they killed people, 
you know, make some evil and pathological for sure. But um, well, they were in the way, and they didn't yeah, want. Yeah, but they to just were like so. Yeah, that's that's how you can get so wrapped up in an idea, right? Mm -hmm. Or a whatever you have an experience with someone, it can just like put you, take you away, and take you somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And you just can do things that you yeah normally wouldn't be capable of. But now Lori totally seems to be capable. Anything. Of totally killing people, yeah. having them killed, and not yeah. worrying and yeah. too not, much and about it. Right all. along, the next I didn't thing. see that with Chad so so much, other than you know his own. You know he's an you know he's writing these books about the end times, and he mm -hmm. thinks he's some kind of um, you know prophet. Yeah, his high was having this beautiful woman fall in love with him, or you know whatever she can love. I don't know if she can really fall in love with anyone. She fell in love with the idea that she was going to be a prophet's wife and they were exalted and, and they're going whatever to they usher were. in the end times and yeah. all and all colonize heaven with hundred and forty four thousand. Yeah. Then he was willing to just you know with his wife. Mm-hmm. You know, and that whole thing and her like her You wonder business. how these I'm sorry. Oh. But I'm just wondering you know for me I just don't know how you could um, not just crack. And, mm -hmm. and to be like just just crack right I mean, you, you know you just sit there because they don't have proof all you gotta do is just be quiet mm -hmm. you know and and maybe you can get away with it yeah. uh, you know you wonder what they're thinking or I mean that's all I just yeah and maybe they're still you know it's got to be some kind of reality shocked you know being arrested and being in jail, in jail. and you wonder if that can crack through the you know, the the religious romantic fantasy thing that they were all wrapped up in. It will when they're charged with murder and they know they're either going to spend their life in jail or they're going to be put to death. I don't know if they well, can be put to death. Well, I don't know if they're going to do like some plea stuff. Well, maybe. that's what people are speculating that they're going to worry about themselves when it comes down to it. Mm -hmm. And they're going to turn on each other. There's just oh, no yeah. way that they can keep this going. Yeah. They're not that invested. When it comes down to life in prison... Or, um, you know, getting put, being like, put to death, not, you're going to just worry about yourself. I suppose. I mean, you would think... She's regular, never going to be with him again. He's yeah. never going to be with her again. So, you know. Oh, well, right, right, right. Yeah. Well, yeah. If but, I mean, how long were they... What was their... What's the length of their relationship? From, well, From that's, start to finish, as far as, like... They, they her knew and, each other her in 2015. Her and the Melanie or Gibb. No, Eighteen. They met at Melanie with Melanie Gibb and mm -hmm. and Lori went to some you know right Bible yeah, uh, yeah. end times thingy. Well, in 2018, um, Charles and Lori moved back to Arizona, so that's when I believe it started. Not 15, 18 is when it started, um, and the reason why they moved back was because Charles said that they needed more help for JJ and they couldn't get it in Hawaii. Who knows, maybe Lori, you know, wanted to get back to her LDS right. people or whatever. Uh, Paradise was too much for her. Who knows? Well, they had LDS um, in Hawaii. Yeah. 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 So. I, again, I yeah. don't know. Um, and then Lori and Melanie went to a conference in Utah and that's where Lori met Chad. Um, then, after that point, Melanie said that, and this is her friend Melanie Gibb, said that she was, always had a problem with Charles after that point. Like, she was well, just so upset all the time. I don't know if it was Melanie or, and this was in the 2020, they hosted this, uh, it was at you know, Lori's Bible house. thing. Okay. Yes. And, and Chad drove from Idaho down to Arizona. For 13 be, hours, yeah, he drove down this, there. Yeah. Be in this little... So, yeah. just for this religious, um, spiritual conference at Lori's house, like, how big could it really be? Right. Yeah. And why would you drive all that way if yeah. there wasn't something so... I he told his wife he was doing. You know, maybe it's be good for book sales or something. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he made up some you know? story. Melanie yeah, yeah. knew there was something. She just knew it. Um, and then, you know, at that right. point... And so, this was in 2018? or so 2018, was, yes. And then... So the thing that their 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 little thing from the and then when they, when were they in Hawaii? Well, they were in Hawaii right before then. They moved back to 
Arizona in No, I'm saying in Chad and they do their little eloped in a while. After I know they lived. Tammy died. Right. And when did Tammy die? Buried. She died in um, October of 2019. Okay, so this thing's just like a year. It's like basically around a year. Right. They got this fling going. Yeah. And then they're, okay. Yep. But Lori had actually read his books and really got into him, into Chad before that. So she was, you know, for her to meet Chad, it was like he was a superstar because she had read all of his books and everything mm -hmm. and listened to his, I guess she would listen to teachings and that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, and then Melanie knew him, so I guess that's who introduced right. Lori to Chad. So there's yeah. some, there's some things in there that we're not quite sure. Some th people said that they knew each other before them. Um, oh, I know, and you they, know. they claim that they were like married five times. You know, yeah, Chad actually, was married 31 times. No, Lori was married 21 Chad, times. <laughs> and 21 Chad different lived, lives. He lived 31 different he lives lives. lives. Okay, but yeah. they were married five times or something. Seven. Seven, okay. <laughs> Lori lived 21 lives. But seven of them, Chad, I mean, Lori was Chad's wife. Oh, okay. So, um, Lori and Chad actually well, sealed themselves to each other. I mean, they might not be worried about it. Yeah, but why was so married? That yeah, was, they're both so married. Odd. They're going to be yeah. coming back. So, what, what are they well, worried about? It's, yeah, I mean, they, it's like, well, we're just going to, we'll get together in the next lifetime, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And just maybe we can get away with it that, at that. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, Lori went through a mental evaluation. In late 2019, Charles flew back from a business trip. He came back, and his car wasn't in the airport. Somebody had to drive him home. He went to his house. A lot of his belongings were gone. Lori right. took 35000 out of the business account. Um she was telling him he was Nick Schneider and she could kill oh, him. He, right, he's he wasn't him. He's like an imposter. Nick Schneider, yeah. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah. they did do a mental evaluation on Lori and of course she passed with flying colors because that's what narcissists do. They just adapt to the situation and fool people left and right. Right. Um, Taylor Larson oh. is Charles's lawyer when he wanted to get divorced right. from Lori, he did ask to draw up divorce papers and an order of protection because he was that scared yep. that something was going to happen. And right. he did tell him that he thought Lori was brainwashing Kylie against him and that if anything happened to him, it was Lori and her brother, uh, Alex, that would have done something. Right. So two months after that, he did call his lawyer and say, oh, we're back together. I think that's when yeah. Lori went to try to make sure she was on the life insurance, which ultimately she wasn't. Mm. Um, and then within two weeks after that, she was gone again. Mm. So, yeah. It's like living a nightmare. Yeah. I mean, I, and I, you know, I've definitely they actually lived, did. I've yeah. lived nightmares, so to speak. Nobody got killed in them where, <laughs> yeah. where you get accused of being something that you ain't. And then, and then, and then you start questioning your own reality mm -hmm. um, because a lot of times the other person, a mental, mentally ill person um, who's who's lucid like Lori, mm -hmm. I mean, just can be so convincing. They can yeah. be so, um, you know, um, passionate and um, just... And and they, they fiz, you know and everything may be so convincing of what they they believe the truth is and it has you start to question what the heck happened yeah um, you start questioning your own reality and, you know, and what you, you actually lighted. saw yeah. could be not what you saw right yeah and so, then you can see yeah. how a person like that could manipulate children you know mm -hmm. uh, other family members um, especially yeah. when you're married to them for a yeah. long time you right. know and then all of a sudden you know. Your whole world right. changes. It's yeah, just, and with kids too, like how easy for a parent to say, "You didn't experience this; you experienced this." And yeah. if she would, just, Lori would say this over and over again to the kids. It's mm -hmm. very easy for them to just then believe that. Yeah, the that's courts, what happened. They did talk to two people that were trying to find out who um, should get custody of Tylee, and they did say that um, the kids. They did find that Lori was telling the kids what to say, so. Um, and so you know, it's it August show, is the uh, court case, Ryan. court date, that yeah. they're going to be. Yeah, but we'll have plenty of 
updates between now and then it's because their be emotions so filed every other yeah, day. They're, they're gonna, yeah. This court case is going to last months. For a long yeah. time. they got a yeah. lot of people involved. And then, yeah. boy, that's going to just be amazing seeing yeah. these people. In the, because we really haven't seen, you don't really, you know, there's not a lot of content. I mean, I, I guess the podcasts are taken down that her and, and uh, Melanie were on. I think I so, yeah. I'm sure there's some place you can get them. 4chan or something but um <laughs> what is that well, oh, no, dark that is. Web. Yeah, that's, that's like the, um, i don't delve into that yeah me neither but i'm just I, you know there's not a lot of content of them talking or right other than that one um where they recorded her and melanie recorded her on the phone there's just not mm -hmm. a ton of content of seeing them speaking and acting and I don't no, believe they did it together. That's the. There might have been one or two that Lori and Chad actually were talking on a podcast or that sort of thing. Right. He he yeah. did come to the podcast, but I, that, yeah. I don't know where he, if he can even get that content anymore. Yeah, I don't know. Um, um, you know, Melanie Gibb probably has it. I'm surprised so. that that's not like more accessible. Yeah. I'll have to find out her email. <laughs> yeah. Because, I, I mean, they might have sent it down. And they, well, there's platforms, these podcast platforms, I guess they kind of like Facebook and whatnot, they don't have to put you up. You know, they, can take, they can take stuff down that it, yeah. it's not cool or whatever they don't yeah. like. But, um, yeah. It's, Cancel. Yeah. Cancel One more culture. thing, not that this matters as far as Lori, but I did not realize they were talking to Chad's ex-wives and, uh, not Chad, uh, Charles' ex-wives, and oh, yeah, his right. second wife, Cheryl, they, he actually adopted, their first son was actually an adopted nephew from Charles. So Charles adopted two of his nephews. T um, JJ was an adopted nephew, right. and his first son was as well. Yeah. So you that wonder, was something new I learned. There's no backstory there. Yeah. Like why, not why with were they put up for one. Well, t uh, JJ we know. Yeah. Because JJ was special needs and his nephew couldn't take care of him. Um, and his mother, they just were in a bad spot. And Kay and Larry were older and he has special needs. So they asked Charles and Lori if they could adopt him to help him out. Because they had the means. Yeah, yeah. I guess they had. Yeah. They had. Yeah. It's a. Uh, yeah, it's very unfortunate know. for the kids. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Ultimately, it, if so many things would have been different, these kids would still be here. Yeah. That's oh, what's yeah. crazy. Um, just yeah, the so custody. I remember things. the two people talking about how they did not think that Lori should have custody, mm -hmm. but it didn't. The court oh, right. That was it. the other yeah. good piece of that. Where there's yeah. those experts that actually, mm -hmm. you know. Um, interacted with and interviewed and you know discussed and um you know got to got to get the feel of these people mm -hmm. and um were able to give their you know they came out and gave their opinions on yeah on it in the custody hearings for um joe and Lori um regarding tiley so yeah right it's so, hard though i mean i think it's very difficult like they they mentioned in the film but it's very difficult for them to not give custody to the mom. It's very mm -hmm. cool to pull away. Yeah, ultimately the court did decide to give custody to her. And the the one gentleman said that he, you know, was still broken up about it because he was he was speaking for Tylee. He yeah. was his the guardian trying to, you know, um, keep her safe. And then ultimately, you know, it was out of his hands and the court right. gave her to Lori. So, um, yeah. Lots of different things. I do want in our um, in our videos to follow. I do want to delve into the Cox family a lot more. There's a lot going on there, and this might give you a picture. And also the Daybell family, a picture as to where these people came from, what their um, what could have affected their personality. Um, Ultimately, I don't know if you're born a narcissist or if you ha can develop into one based on your family. I really don't yeah. know. Mm. So, um, but it'd be interesting just to hear where they came from and, you know, all that good yeah. stuff. Yeah, and people can just, I mean, there's, people can just snap or crack and mm -hmm. then or just be lured into something and 
do something stupid that gets you killed, like the, you know, like the guy that delivered the pizza and had the bomb tied around his neck. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Did you see that? The. Uh, no, I heard genius. about that years it's called, ago. It's called Evil Genius. Evil Genius, it's out right now. Oh, it's on Netflix. It's on Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They put no. this. They put a bomb around this guy's neck. Mm -hmm. Made him go rob a bank. Yeah. And then uh, it blew up and killed him. Yeah, I heard about that story when it was pizza bomb out there. They How it. long ago was that? It wasn't that long ago. It was just a couple it was years. A couple ago. years. I think yeah. I saw yeah on stories about that. So, but. All right, so I think, are we good? Yeah. We're good for today, yeah. and we'll say, until next time, bye. bye. Well, I remember, right. too, is that my mom, I remember, um, you know,